Today on the BFMS, we have a few updates as we hit midweek. The Coupon Book Sales Finder Zero will start winding down soon. We have a midweek weather update for you today. Cooler temps are on the way. More clubs are coming online soon, so stay tuned for updates. The Honor Society will be meeting tomorrow. We have some sports updates for you today. Science Book Club will meet tomorrow. The WFMS Auto Announcement Network starts now. All board admirals, thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals Announcement Network. I'm Nora. And I'm Gracie. Welcome to your home for news, announcements, and more on WFMS. Now for today's news and announcements. We have a new early evening club we want to put on your radar. The Yoke Club meets each Tuesday in the FMS cafeteria from 7 to 8 p.m. Yoke has different themed clubs so you can compete in games, watch ridiculous skits, and battle for new chug and crush competitions. Next Tuesday, the third, will be a relay club. There will be no club meeting over fall break. On the 17th after fall break will be a fall club. FMS Honor Society will meet this Thursday, September 28th in the library from 345 to 430. Please remember to stay in your 6th grade period or bus hall until 345. Do not arrive at the bus at the, li at the library early. Science Bowl members, listen up. The Science Bowl will be meeting tomorrow and every Thursday. We will meet from 345 to 5 o'clock. Please have your ride here at 5. We will meet every Thursday in room 251, Orange B, Mrs. Browning's room. The Board Games and Chess Club will begin meeting next Tuesday, October 2nd, in Miss Link's room on Navy Pod from 345 to 430. Please see Miss Link to pick up the required permission slips that need to be signed and returned before you participate. Also, make sure you ride home. Your ride home is promptly here at 430. See you then. Hey, have you heard of the 4-H Club? I have, and I've heard it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool club to be a part of. What is it exactly? Well, you'll definitely make new friends. You can build leadership, public speaking, and citizenship skills. You can get a chance to participate in a variety of contests after school, including public speaking, poster art, baking, demonstrations, collections, crafts, and photography. You get access to 29 4-H projects, including animals, photography, STEM, sewing, arts and crafts, forestry, wildlife, and more. And many 4-H clubs have hands-on hands -on meetings at UT you can go to. 4-H sounds awesome, and I see here on their flyer that the 4-H club is open to any current FMS student to join a meeting after school. The first meeting will be th from 345 to 445 on October 3rd, and the November meeting will be on the 14th. The club meets in, in the FMS art room, and the 4-H club is free to join. Our coupon books fundraiser has less than a week left, so let's make these last days count and get after it. Remember that the proceeds will help both students and teachers here at Frigate for every book you sell. And don't forget that you get a chance to spin the wheel for prizes during lunch, such as gift cards, candy grabs, and even cash. The top sellers from each grade will get some time in the cash grab booth, and the top selling homeroom in each grade level wins a donut party. You may continue bringing your money all this week. The final day for the fundraiser is October 3rd, and books may not be sold after October 3rd. That's it for announcements. Now for a sports brief. Hi, I'm PT. And I'm Gracie. Now for a quick sports update. Our varsity and JV football teams have had a great season, and it's almost over. All the parent and student support has been amazing, and every supportive, cheering fan makes a difference. So please, come out and support us again tomorrow to, as we take on Fulton. The games will be held at Farragut High School. The JV will play at 615, and the varsity will play at 730. Please come out and support your admirals. Monday was 8th grade night where all 19 of our 8th grade soccer girls were recognized before the Lady Admirals versus Bearden A game. Lady Yads came out with the win 2-0 over Bearden. Goals by E.C. Johnson and Ava Upshaw. The FMS Lady Yads finished out regular season playing this week facing Sevier County on Wednesday and Gresham on Thursday. Farragut Middle Varsity Softball won their first two games in the tournament Monday night at home defeating Bearden 6-0 and Catholic 8-1. Layla Norman was on the mound for Farragut against Bearden, earning six strikeouts and only allowing two hits. Taylor Wolfgram and Logan Jameson led the team with two hits each against the Lady Bulldogs with a solid performance by the, all the admirals in the field. Taylor Wolfgram took the mound for the game against Catholic and struck out a total of nine batters. The team collected 11 hits during the game with Cameron Knapper and Cameron Trader 
hitting, both hitting triples, and Taylor Wolfgram a double to help extend the early lead for the Admirals. The Lady Admirals will face Oak Ridge Wednesday night at 6 p.m. at Hardin Valley in the next round of the tournament play. Girls interested in playing golf for this year, listen up. Girls golf tryouts will begin tomorrow from 5 to 6.30. The last tryout day will be September 30th from 3.30 to 5 o'clock. The tryouts will take place at the Fairways and Greens Golf Center. Girls golf, tryout info is in the front office on the counter. Girls and guys basketball tryouts come to a close today. We hope you have given it your all this afternoon. The girls will try out from 3.30 to 5 p.m. and all boys will try out from 5 to 6.30 p.m. And boys, don't forget that you need to go home first and then come back for tryouts. You may not stay at school while you wait for your tryout time. Lastly, and very important, everyone must have a physical to try out. Now back to the news desk for closing. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals News Network. We hope you have a great day and evening. Make good choices. Be kind, stay safe, and, and we, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow.